And we turn now to continuing coverage of the Davenport building collapse. News 8's Jonathan Fong is live in downtown Davenport, where dozens are expected to be at City Hall tomorrow for the first City Council meeting since the tragedy. Good evening, Jonathan. Yeah, good evening, John. So tomorrow, at tomorrow's Committee of the Whole meeting, the City Council is expected to approve up to $600,000 of emergency funds to help families and businesses displaced by the building collapse. However, we do expect more people to be out here in front of the building and in front of City Hall ahead of that meeting out in protest. That's what we've heard from former tenants who plan on coming out here as well. Now, before all of that, lawyers representing Quinesha Berry are holding a press conference outside City Hall here at one in the afternoon. Berry was a tenant in the building and she was trapped under the rubble. Her leg had to be amputated when she was rescued. Her lawyers saying in part, quote, the building owner and others value profits over the well-being and safety of residents. And we are taking actions to hold those individuals and entities responsible. And later this week, the building's owner, Andrew Wold is ordered to show up to the court Friday morning. That is to pay a $300 fine for not keeping the building safe and sanitary. However, we'll come out in lieu of him instead. For now in Davenport, Jonathan Fong, WQAD News 8. All right, thank you, Jonathan. And tomorrow night's city council meeting will be at 530.